Hello minions and welcome back. Today we're going to just go ahead and talk through some of the new additions to Call of Duty Cold War Zombies that are that have been added already but are also going to be activated as part of Season 3 which starts tomorrow as I'm recording this, the 22nd. It's probably when this is going to be posted, so today. Um, but as of the 21st when I'm recording this, they added some things in the patch. Um, so the new map, as far as I'm aware, is not in here. And uh, I didn't get a chance to see the uh, drops where you can apparently upgrade the die shockwave now. Um, but uh, one thing that has been in a while, in case you guys didn't notice, anytime there's a pack-a-punch, or not a pack-a-punch machine, a perk machine, if you lay down in front of it, you can get 100 Ethereum just each time you do that. Um, well, the first time you do it per map. So for each each machine that you find, you get a free 100 by laying down in front of it. That's not new. That's been in the game a while. But uh, yeah, just so you don't, so you know. Uh, there are new icons they updated. So all of the uh, objective and world event icons are a little bit more bold and obvious now, which is kind of nice. Also, they changed the icon completely for the perk machine. So instead of a question mark, it is uh, now a the top of a soda can. So that's a little bit helpful. Um, uh, one thing that I saw here is I was doing a golden chest is they added the ability uh, for some new drops. Like I said, I've heard, but I haven't seen it myself that they can drop weapon upgrades, like maybe even pack a punch upgrades. Uh, but one thing I did see uh, twice actually is this dropped a cryo freeze uh, upgrade for the ammo mods um, and then later on you'll see I actually got uh, another drop for napalm blast so this is just from level one to three in outbreak so these are entirely new drops and they appear to be at least decently common so that's a nice little addition save you some money um, they asked added these uh, dune buggies into Outbreak, uh, so that's the first time I'd really been able to mess around with those as well. Um, now later in the video I'll show you they also added the cargo truck, which actually has a really nice little feature to it, which I'll show you uh, during one of the HVTs. Um, but yeah, it's nice to see uh, zombies getting some love. I, I, I've been really kind of disenfranchised with Cold War uh, multiplayer in general, so uh, having zombies get some love is is very much is very much welcome. Um, another thing that happened here, uh, and I've seen this once before. I tried to find for my other clip, but I didn't see it. But if you've ever seen this kind of like glowing half floating torso, uh, I did uh, find another one of those here. So I don't know if they've increased uh, how common they are, but I spotted one, and it is apparently called a demented echo. Uh, and I guess if they hit you, they alert zombies in the area so if you've ever seen one of those before that's what they are um i've only ever seen them like three times that was like the third time i've ever seen one so they're really rare um but anyway just figured i'd throw that in there um something else that might might be helpful this is also not new but just kind of maybe some things you didn't know about zombies i managed to get this like kind of all in one gameplay um is i was doing uh, a level three golden chest and i was kind of getting uh, mobbed by uh, the megatons and I was using an LMG for some challenges which is, these LMGs are pretty awful this is the RPD um, but while I was trying to kite the zombies and reload a tempest jumped me and then a mangler <laughs> came at me from the side uh, but in one of my previous uh, world events uh, one of the bosses or, or events had dropped a uh, chopper gunner so I wanted to show here as I was uh, kinda getting a little bit overwhelmed and damaged I thought I might be able to uh, might be able to kind of escape I realized I didn't have any uh, stim shots and uh, decided to pop the chopper gunner. So for those of you who don't know, the guided kill streaks, the ones that you have to control like the chopper gunner uh, and the cruise missile, while you're using them, you are invulnerable. You are invincible. So uh, you're the little yellow box down there. This chopper gunner came in to where I couldn't actually, at first, aim down and kill the zombies that were mobbing me. I was worried I was going to be just totally fucked here. Um, but if you look, you are the yellow box uh, that's highlighted. And so you can find yourself and and use the chopper gunner to help clear out the zombies that are around you. So while this happens, you're invincible, you can't kill yourself, um, and you can shoot the things around you. So I was clearing up those, and then uh, it doesn't last forever, but uh, there you can see I, I managed to kind of bail myself out of a tough, tough situation. So if you have a chopper gunner, it's good to know that, that you can you can do that and use it to kind of help pull your butt out of a, a rough corner. So um, yeah, if there's... Uh, there's anything that you guys have learned about zombies uh, th from the new patches that uh, I haven't included in this video, uh, you want to include, um, 
be sure to mention it below. Like I said, there's there's a new map, which uh, is not, I think, officially added until they actually do the full season release um, as you watch this today. Um, and here's where I got the second ammo drop, the napalm burst, which uh, you, I put on a different weapon. So I didn't try to replace it, but I'm assuming with, with ammo mods, I mean, the way it works from the machines, you can just replace what's on your current weapon. So if you have two weapons, you can add one on your other weapon. You might want to check and make sure you don't get a better ground loot drop before you waste the ammo mod on what's in your uh, inventory. Um, but it's good to see uh, these additions that might save you some money because paying for Pack-a-Punch and getting upgrades is uh, a good use of your resources in Outbreak. So having things like ammo mods drop out of the box is, is a nice little bonus. So um, one of the last things I'm going to show you here they added is the, the cargo truck. And one of the the coolest thing I think about the cargo truck, in addition to the fact that it's, you know, just a bit beefier, you'll see when I just spin around here, I think it'll plow through zombies a little bit better without taking as much damage. You see, I just slammed through a bunch of zombies and the truck did not get immediately half destroyed. Uh, but the other thing is if you, uh, on console, click the right stick or whatever the change seat button is, uh, you can pop over into this mounted machine gun uh, and then hop back over into the driver's seat. So this makes this thing like a like a mobile tank, even when you're in solos. Uh, obviously, if you have teammates, they can climb in the back and you can have one guy shotgun running the actual gun. But uh, I was on the uh, last stage of the HVT here, and I just wanted to see how much basically damage the truck could soak up while I'm trying to use this gun to melt the HVT. The gun does have an overheat, so I did have to wait for it to cool down, um, to continue doing damage. But I didn't know if I was going to get the critical damage warning for the truck, but I did. So just so you know, you can use that that machine gun, and uh, it will warn you before the truck's about to explode so you can bail out. But it was a nice way to just kind of soak up some damage and be pretty much invincible in there. Um, another fun addition to Outbreak, and using that truck is going to be uh, something that I'm sure I'll take a lot of advantage of. So... Uh, the last thing I'm going to show here is I was planning on doing a three and out, just like seeing some of the new updates. Uh, they also increased the uh, XP for this stuff uh, for zombies. Um, I, it didn't seem to be like dramatic. I didn't get like a ton of XP. That said, they also increased the match bonus. And as you're about to see here, um, I managed to not finish this match because uh, I thought that I got a game freeze, like just a normal game freeze right there. Um, as it turns out, I think this was actually uh, my connection to the Activision servers dropping, uh, which did cause it to freeze up. I had to kill the game, but then when I tried to reconnect, I got this queuing message, and um, and then it, it dropped out later. So I think there's been some pretty hefty load on the server today with people, uh, people going into the nuke event for Warzone. And uh, so maybe maybe for the next uh, day, hopefully it's cleared up by, by the season launch, but you could see some, some server instability uh, during this season transition, which um, again, kind of indicates that this is sharing the, the Warzone servers. But uh, in case you do get this, uh, where it puts you in the queue, I would, I would not say that you should uh, wait it out because uh, I'll roll in a clip here. Essentially, what I saw is when I when I killed the game, relaunched it, and got back into it, I waited for the countdown, which went up to like two and a half minutes, and when it counted down to zero, it essentially just reset and, and went back up higher, um, and if you just, when you see that, if you just continually close the game and then relaunch it, eventually you'll get back in, but um, I don't think this is going to be a persistent issue, obviously, this is just the higher traffic of people trying out the... Uh, the new features, the new stuff today, but hey, Activision, get your shit together. Get your servers right. Come on now. Um, if you guys uh, found this useful, like I said, uh, like leave me a like. If you have information that you guys want to share that you've seen or that you're excited for, leave comments down below. If uh, you don't like update videos or you just don't like me because my face is ugly, even though you can't see my face in this video, you could leave me a dislike. <laughs> if you're not a minion, please subscribe to become one. I want all of you minions to be sticking around for all this good times fun. I'll be bringing more updates. I'll probably do another video uh, with the new Outbreak map and uh, anything else worth talking about 
in the newest Season 3 of Call of Duty Cold War, as well as hopefully the soon to be upcoming Battlefield 6 reveal and all of that good stuff. So I will talk to you guys later. Goodbye.